Hi, welcome to another reading vlog. My name's Penny. I just filmed my July wrap up and even though it was only the second half of the month because I already did a mid-month wrap up, I have about 12 billion years of footage so that's gonna be fun. Tomorrow, I'm gonna edit that tomorrow. Tonight, I'm gonna start this vlog. So, <laughs> I did talk at the end of last week's vlog about starting Scythe by Neil Shusterman. So this is a YA dystopian all about this world where people can't die but because of overpopulation the AI that runs the world has chosen these people to be Scythes who randomly choose people to die and kill them. So as I said at the end of last week's vlog, I really struggled with it because I find the world to be completely unbelievable and I've worked out that what it is is with these kinds of books, like they're often unbelievable, but the author kind of sets a, a general assumption that probably isn't realistic, you need to suspend your disbelief, and then kind of looks at what might happen to the world if that thing was true. I just don't really feel like Neil Shusterman really explored what the situation would mean for the world. He's basically just said the Scythes will be corrupt and not much more of the world is really developed. And I think that's what's frustrating me. Also, like, nothing happened. So I finished it this afternoon. And, like, it was kind of boring. <laughs> I'm so disappointed because so many people love this book. And I just don't get it. I didn't understand the romance at all. It made no sense to me that there was any romance there. He didn't put any effort into building a relationship between those two characters, even a friendship. Like just one scene of them doing something kind of friendly. They were just like straight away into sacrificing themselves for each other. And why? I just, I don't know. I don't get why everyone loves that book. I don't get it. And I don't even know, should I continue the series if that's how I feel about the first book? I guess I will, but <sighs> I don't know. Try and, try and explain to me, if you've read that book, try and explain to me in the comments why you liked it. Because I don't get it. And that's fine, everybody has different ideas. So, what else am I reading? As far as audiobooks go, the next audiobook I picked up was going to be Zone 1 by Colson Whitehead. Uh, but I started listening to it while I was putting on my makeup for the video I just filmed. Uh, and it, my audiobook's in German. And it's weird for me listening to German because I did study German for a little bit in high school and I've done a little bit of Duolingo, but really I can't speak German to save myself. But when I'm listening to the audiobook, my brain's like, wow, we can almost understand this because I understand like 5% of the words, maybe. It's a really weird experience, but I can't understand it. I listened to it for a little bit while I was doing my makeup. I can't understand it well enough to know what's going on. So that's not going to work. So instead, I've started the audiobook of The Desert Spear by, what's his name? Peter V. Brett. I've got the first book over here. So this is a world where at night when the sun goes down demons rise out of the earth and there's all these different kinds of demons like wood demons and lightning ones and rock ones and so people build these like warded houses to keep themselves safe. In the first book we follow this boy who basically learns to fight the demons. I thought it was all right but I wasn't necessarily a fan of the writing style so I'm gonna listen to the second book on audiobook and we'll see how we go. I do think that the series probably improves as it goes because it is quite a well-known and well-liked series. So I'm going to listen to that audiobook. Physical books, I'm still trying to finish this book. I'm like not even halfway through yet and I think I've been reading this for about a month so I'm gonna read this but I'm gonna also read other books at the same time because I feel like if I'm just reading this and not making progress it's very depressing and I've got enough problems in my life at the moment with the fact that I'm still unemployed thanks to COVID that I don't want to be depressed about not getting through a book so I'll read it but no pressure even though my August TBR is ridiculous. So while I'm making progress on that I'm also gonna read Rolling in the Deep by Mira Grant. Mira Grant is the pen name of Shauna Maguire and this is the prequel of Into the Drowning Deep. It follows the initial voyage out to try and see if they can find mermaids. You can probably guess that they do and the mermaids are really scary. 
I really liked Into the Drowning Deep so I'm excited to get a little bit more of the story in this prequel and it's short so this should give me that feeling of progress that I won't be getting from the Burning Stone. I do also have this other book that I'm not going to show you what it is because I'm reading it for my secret library reading project that I've been talking about forever because it's taking me way longer than I ever imagined it would. This one isn't too long. It's got time travel elements and terrorism elements. Go on, see if you can guess what it is. You probably can't, but I am excited to read it so I'm going to try and fit that in this week as well. I probably won't tell you much about it though because that'll be in my other video. But maybe if we're lucky we'll come out this year. I do also have some other books that I would like to fit in this week but I think it's very unrealistic so I'm not even going to think about that because let's be honest it's already Tuesday and I also have my infusion this week and some job search financial what the fuck kind of stuff happening so I'm probably not going to be able to prioritize reading necessarily too much but I guess we'll see how we go. Hi so I've hardly done any reading this week but I thought I'd give you guys a quick update. I just went to my infusion and I should have had a bunch of time for reading there but instead um, I mostly played Animal Crossing. I did read the first chapter of Rolling in the Deep but I don't know that I've really gotten far enough to know any more than what I knew going into it. So I'm I'm gonna go to Jason's after this so I will see if I can make some more progress there. I have also listened to the first few hours of The Desert Spare by Peter V. Brett. Is that his name? I think so. Uh, and I'm slightly disappointed because I thought we would be following the same characters from the first book. So in the first book there were a few characters that all started as children and then they kind of grew up in this world with these demons and learnt about fighting the demons. And I was kind of excited to get more of their adult adventures. But now instead we're following a new kid who's been inducted, forced, recruited, recruited into the army that fights these demons demons and this kind of this completely different part of the world mm, maybe not completely different like adjacent part of the world where they go out and they fight the demons rather than in the first book it was mostly following this culture where they hide away from the demons a lot more but this culture where they fight the demons is much more brutal and like this young kid is having to break other people's arms in order to prove that he really is strong and I'm not enjoying it as much as I did the first book but I guess we'll see hopefully something different will happen soon I'll listen to it while we drive around so I will see. It is. It's really old. I swear it was here when I came as like a school thing. And I remember being like, ooh, cool. Hi, so I am home again. You would have seen we went to the museum and checked out this like wildlife photography show, which was pretty cool. I couldn't show you any of the pictures, but uh, they were really beautiful. And then as well, we found this new New Zealand bird display, which I also really liked. So that was a fun little trip. Uh, reading wise, I didn't do much while I was away at Jason's place, but I did listen to more of the Desert Spear. I'm 25% in. So that's not that far, but it is six hours in. This is quite a long audiobook. Uh, and finally, at about 20%, we got a link into the first book. So the warded man or the painted man from the first book came along, which I, I suspected he would because in the first book it does talk about him doing that. So I think the books are kind of overlapping at the moment. But both that aspect and kind of the manipulation that this boy, who's now a man, with a lot of power. The manipulation by his wife and how she's trying to arrange the future because she can roll the dice and see the future. Uh, that's quite interesting. Although there's also a lot of like the glory of fighting and the glory of dying which I'm never a fan of. Uh, lots of fighting and battling again I'm not a fan of but it's it's okay. So I'm going to continue that. Also uh, I've been reading this today. So today I've been doing this thing where I'm playing this stupid cat game that I play and every 15 minutes you kind of have to check in if you want to try and achieve the goal of the event. Anyway, I'm basically using that to like 
like a Pomodoro type technique. So every 15 minutes I'm doing a different productive thing, alternating between reading and fun stuff and more productive stuff, housework, video editing. And uh, it's been quite a nice day. I've been getting stuff done, but also having some fun. So this, I'm about halfway through now and we've only just got into the bit where there's mermaids and like almost having some scary things happen, but so far not actually anything scary happening uh, and there is also a lot of characters to try and keep track of and I, I expect the reason why not much happened in the first half is just that Mira Grant, Sean and Maguire is trying to get you to know all the characters and care about them so that when shit goes wrong you'll feel bad but at the same time, I don't know that I actually do care about any of the characters because there's just so many. How could you possibly make me love them all in like 50 pages? But anyway, I am excited to get more mermaids. And I think if I keep going with my 15 minute cycle for the rest of the night, I should be able to finish this off and maybe read some more of one of my other books. Maybe. Good morning. So, uh, last night, I finished up this and I have to tell you reading books about mermaids eating people's faces off not the best thing to read just before bed um gave me nightmares but I'll also say that it wasn't really that scary until like the last 20 pages and even then it sets up the idea that everyone's gonna die so you know everyone's gonna die so there's not really much suspense there definitely some horrible things but um yeah this prequel didn't really add much to the story that wasn't in into the drowning deep this was written first though so you can kind of see that this is setting up all the ideas that she explored more fully in into the drowning deep still i mean i enjoyed it okay three stars uh the other thing that i've been doing is listening to the audiobook of the desert spear and when i got about a third of the way in it changed perspectives and i remembered that that's what the first book did every third was a following a different character and I didn't really like that in the first book and I don't really like it in the second book. So I just kind of gotten interested in this new character's perspective and now we're back following one of the other characters. I'm pretty sure this one was introduced in the first book. So now we're following this girl whose father is a jerk always trying to like essentially make her into his wife. It's gross. I don't like it. Uh, so when you put that together with the first part being very violent and I didn't like that aspect either, I have to say I'm not particularly enjoying the reading experience even though I do think this world is really interesting and the whole thing with the demons is really interesting. But I wish that he would just put the story together properly. Anyway, I am only 40% in so I will keep listening to that I guess. And I haven't read any more of the two other books that I'm supposed to be reading so I should try to somehow find time for that. Um, although I'm pretty sure I'm going to spend the rest of the day booktubing, filming, editing, subtitles. Ah, the life of a booktuber. <laughs> Hello, so I think I need to end this vlog. Uh, it's already Tuesday, so I'm running quite late. Uh, but I kind of wanted to finish things before I finish the vlog, which isn't really how weekly reading vlogs should work at all, because am I always going to finish books right at the end of the week? No, but regardless, firstly I did finish off my secret library project book. I've still got another few to read for that, but it was okay. Also I finished off listening to The Desert Spear. And what I think about that one is firstly that first third that was all about this other kid growing up and being in the army, that should have been in the first book because the timing of those events is the same timing as the first book. And then the first book could have established the backstories of all of the characters which are in the rest of the story. So in the rest of the story he does a better job of interweaving the different characters perspectives but still I think he tends to stay with particular characters too long. So long that you almost forget that there's other characters perspectives and other characters stories going on and so when you come back to it you have to be like oh wait what was happening with these people again also i think most of the relationships are a little bit like quick to be established and don't make much sense also everybody has a crush on leisha like in the first book there was one guy who liked her and then another guy that liked her in this third book we've got three guys somewhat involved with her and and they're different guys so it's just like really like 
sure, supposedly she's beautiful and strong and amazing and perfect, but does everybody have to try and be with her? Um, and I just, I think we're meant to love her and I don't love her because why is she so perfect? Even though she's like angry and jealous, but like those aren't necessarily flaws, especially they're painted as strengths in the book. But still, I do really like the world. I love the ideas that are being built around these demons. I hope we're going to get more and more learnings about the demons. There was a really interesting part right at the end of the book that had more about the demons. So I'll be interested to see how that continues in the rest of the series whenever I get around to continuing it. I do think the audiobook was quite good though, so I might continue the audiobook. I think, honestly, I think I do like this series. I just don't like the way that it's constructed. So hopefully as the series goes on, he'll get better and better at constructing this multi-perspective book and like interweaving all the different plot threads together, hopefully. So I kind of feel like I did terribly at reading in the last week because I never read the burning stone and I didn't finish things until after the end of the week but like still I finished two audiobooks and two physical books sure one of those physical books was really short but like I still finished it and like four books in a week that's not bad uh, I am going to going forward reset my reading levels a bit because I'm starting to get job interviews again and hopefully I'll be going back to work soon and I just can't be reading all the time. I've got other things to do. I wish I could read all the time, but that's not life, is it? Anyway, uh, thank you for hanging out with me this week. Do let me know if you've read any of the books that I read this week, because I would love to talk with you more about them down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and reading lots of good books, and I will see you next time. Bye.